Well, the Peter Kiewit Institute is an amazing partnership between the College of uh, Engineering from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and the College of Information Science and Technology from the University of Nebraska at Omaha. But unique to that partnership is a link between business, industry, and government. The board is 11 CEOs that basically expect the institute to move at the speed of business, not at the speed of higher education. We are attracting because of some very wonderful scholarship opportunities. Uh, high school graduating seniors now that rank within the top two to three percent in the nation. Uh, we now have a total of 16 facilities, all with broadband connectivity, state-of-the-art technology. The classroom and lab facility is 192,000 square feet with a totally exposed infrastructure. It's just awesome. We had a basically traditional network from uh, probably the top vendor at the time in the market area, but we were beginning to see failure and we were beginning to have some downtime and it was obvious that we needed to increase our speed and our delivery. We were doing some testing of Foundry's Big Iron in our computer and electronics engineering lab. Students and professors were just enjoying trying to do everything they could to break it or to push it to the limit. And they really were impressed with it. So when it came time to replace the network, they were just a real natural next step. The initial outlay for the foundry equipment was less than the kind of state-of-the-art type provider that seems to have been there in longevity. Their equipment performed at actually as high and in many cases higher level than the brand that carried the market share. The maintenance plans were more cost efficient. The energy requirement was less than what we had been used to. So we basically, from an economic standpoint, saved in every way when we, we moved to Foundry. Well, we're in our second generation of Foundry equipment, and we're riding RX-16. Foundry has provided both the switches and routers for all seven wiring closets and our core switch for our head-in room. Just given the foundry transition from three years, three and a half years ago to the current network that we're riding, it took exactly half the equipment to more than triple the capability. The efficiency of the network, just awesome. And I think probably the biggest thing is it almost uh, has a crystal ball. It's management system. Uh, tells us when there's anything that we should be concerned about long before we know about it. The transitions with Foundry in terms of trading out a system has been just phenomenal. In fact, a little faster than even Foundry imagined the last time. We were able to do the complete network transaction and trade out from seven closets plus head in room over Friday to Sunday night. Um, that was because it was planned well, it was well orchestrated, but the equipment itself from Foundry is very easy to install. A lot of companies make assumptions and they categorize their clients. And in the scheme of things, you look at the giant systems in the world today and the big corporations, we're a pretty small entity, comparatively speaking, but we have become the place where a lot of the giant companies come to have us do proof of concept testing. Consequently, our network, its reliability, and uh, its speed is critical, not just to the Peter Keywood Institute, but from the DOD to some of the largest insurance companies in the country to Union Pacific Railroad and on and on. We have the privilege to work with those companies, and so our network really is important. One of the opportunities that the new Foundry Network provided was the ability to bring down satellite feeds and to be able to capture voice and video. We bring it in, we encode it, and we send it out over high-speed internet too. 
Another issue that we're doing is uh, Air Force and global weather on the unclassified side. We're doing compression testing and data mining. Without a very robust network, we would not have been able to do that. Foundry makes us think that we're probably their number one or number two client. Now, having done our homework before we went with Foundry, I have a list of who rides their networks. And I'm kind of glad to be in that company. And I'm really glad that Foundry feels like we're as important to them as some of those giant corporations. That means a lot.